Welcome PML fans, I'm your host Joe Moore here and we're moving on to the next division. This is Coach Jesse's team, the Atlanta Arcaniners. He drafted Togekiss, Amoongus, Glacephalon, Magnazone, Swoobat, Lilligant, Hydreigon, Alakazam, Medchamp, and Naganardel. Alright, let's go ahead and start off with, <clears throat> uh, I guess, Jaden. I think um, from the outset, I think it, it looks like a Jesse knows what he's doing. Like, let's let's call it what it is. He got a very good team. Um, a lot of ground support. A lot of like, Toby Kiss will be a great find in the user. Um, you know, just like on face value, looks like a fantastic team. Tailwind options, all the options, um, and some good wall breakers in there. So I think he's got a very good team. Just face value. Yeah. I agree. To break the fourth wall a little bit, we're already we've already had week one, and um, Jesse's made a couple of trades, so uh, I have to face it this week. So I know that he's made these trades. But um, as far as the, ch the team he drafted, it looks, you know, I'm not going to call it busted, but it looks pretty good. Um, you know, Togek is one of the best fairies in the format. The two dragons, um, you know, they can steamroll through teams. They can't dispose of them before they get a boost, especially in the Um you know, what sticks out to me is the pairing of um, Sigalith and Swoobat. You know, they've got the exact same typing, but aside from that, Magic Guard and Simple are two pretty good abilities as far as um, doubles are concerned. You can run away with matches with Maxi Stream. And um, I don't know if it was intentional, but there are heaps of repeated typings in this team. Two Electric, two Grass, two Poison, two Dragon. Uh, as Jaden said, no, Jesse will make it appear as half those double ups don't matter, but... Um, I think the beauty of the format is that with squads of 10, we're only bringing six. So it's not as if it's going to bring all those PS every match anyway. Yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> and uh, I do like his team. Uh, that leads me to uh, talking about the bulk of his team. His team is very bulky. He has a bunch of mods that can actually take hits. And he has quite a bit of recovery from what I can tell. <clears throat> and he can wish pass with Togekiss too, so... I give his uh, team an eight and bolt. I just went straight for a nine. As soon as you got Togekiss and Mungus in there, that's a pretty bulky duo. And then you throw in um, Magnazone, which is pretty bulky for its typing. So, yeah, I give it a nine. Yeah, I agree with Stuart. Um, he's got a very bulky Pokemon. I think the only really like Pokemon you look at and think is, oh, yeah, that's Frail. It's the Bless, the Cephalon. And Alakazam. And Alakazam. Yeah, but Naganadel is like one of those Pokemon where you know, <clears> you can probably, you can probably live one hit that doesn't like, it's not like a glass cannon like Alakazam. Or Black. True. That's very true. And that brings us to our speed tier. <clears throat> As uh, Jaden was talking about, there's a lot of good Tailwinder options. Uh, his team is Pretty much naturally fast, except for, you know, some of the bulkier mine, but they're meant to take hits. And uh, he does have some decent priority options. Yeah, I gave it a 9, just solely because you can't get much better as far as the mix of speeds as well. He's got slow mines, he's got middle, middle tier like Megazone, and then he's got, you know, Hydreigon just under 100, and then um, Cephalon, the Gunnardale, well over 100. Oh, yeah. I gave him an eight, um, and I think the only point of taking off really is that I just don't know how he'll go into trick room. Um, there's a lot of, like I think it was Joe said, like he's got a lot of priority options, um, but you know some of those Pokemon that are quite either middle speed or very fast. So I think he may struggle a little bit in trick room, but honestly, I think he'll be. It's not a big, not a big deal. Mm -hmm. And then also. <clears throat> kind of pairs with uh, his wall breaking ability. He has some pretty hard hitting mods. Yeah, he's definitely um, more of get in and smash and then jump out. Of, you know, like he's not going to hang around recovery and apart from Munga switching in and out, I don't think he's going to worry too much about that. Yeah. It'll stick rage powder a few times in a way he goes. Jaden? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Sorry, I'm off my own little world. Oh, yeah. Um, 
we're, we're on the wall breaking, are we? Or are we still? <clears throat> yeah, the wall breaking. Wall breaking. Yeah, <clears throat> um, wall breaking. I think is sorry. Wall breaking. I think is good. I think um, as as Stuart was saying earlier, Swoobat with the with the um simple ability, I think it has does have the potential to run away with games. Um, especially if he can pair it nicely with Nagana Dell. Um, so watch the Nagana Dell can't um Dynamax Kenny. But if you find a way to boost Swoobat's special attack and, and speed, it mm-hmm. could be a very um very reliable way of winning games. Um, even if that's, you know, bringing in Among Us um, or Togekiss, using Follow Me, setting up a Calm Mind, and then maxing and using Airstream. That's a, it's a very reliable way of, take, of you know, taking control of games. Um, but then you've got, like, naturally, um, natural wall breakers in Naganadel, Rabba uh, Set Falon, um, mm-hmm. Hydreigon, Alakazam, Marcham can on its day can also punch holes and things. I think it's a pretty strong overall full breaking potential and I think he's got I think it's an eight. Yeah, I went ahead and gave him a nine. Yeah, I gave him a nine as well. Another nine. <clears throat> Alright, looks like he's getting nines across the board, and that's gonna bring us to a uh, recovery and support. Um I do like his team in this sense. He does have uh some good supporting options in uh Swoobet in uh, screens and also getting off um, some speed boost for his team if he decides to max that thing because he can get the speed boost off on to uh, other Pokemon on his team. Amoongus, of course, Regenerator, Rage Powder is ridiculous to battle around. And um, yeah, he just has a lot of options. Yeah, I totally agree with that. One of those um, really annoying teams. <laughs> that you can see. Uh, I think it's maybe going into more of the synergy of the team more so than the actual recovery and support. But it's mm-hmm. one of those really annoying teams where there's a lot of cover for each other, so you can switch into something that's not going to take a hit, and um, that can like hit, if they're something mm-hmm. like leftovers or a berry, it's going to be really easy to for him to keep that keep those Pokemon healthy. Um, but like what are those? Togekiss and Hydreigon with Bruce, um, or the Ganondel with Bruce. Um, Among Us is Regenerator, Giga Drain, Leech Seed. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm also miss Swoobat with the, with the Roost as well. It's got a lot of recovery moves and a lot of damage or um, health sapping moves. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think those will be really good for the longevity of his team as well. Sort of leads into that, sort of leans into that bulk bit too. Um, but yeah, I think I gave him the nine in um in recovery and support. Yeah, I'm doing an eight. I mean nine. Nine. All right. So far, still with the nines on Stu. All right, and lastly but not leastly, that brings us to the team synergy, and uh, we've touched on it a couple times already. This team just works really well together, and it's gonna win it some games. <laughs> I think he's probably got the best through Dragon Steel Core in the league. Um, it doesn't matter which Dragon you include in that, but you know, Magna's own really, really good Steel type. Togekiss, like I said, the Premier Fury, along with maybe Clefable um, and Hydreigon and Nagunadel, both busted. So, yeah, I gave him an 8 for that one. This is, um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to facing this team, I'll be honest. <laughs> I think um, I think what the, what this team does really really well is that it can actually, you know, it can make some switches, and you can like things like ally switch. You can switch um, or even just hard switching in like Magnezone is obviously four times weak to ground, but he's got so many options available to just bring in a couple of flying types to avoid earthquakes, um, or a couple of levitators to bring it, to avoid those to avoid those um earthquakes or ground type moves, mm-hmm. and then he can start going start pushing the offensive again um and i think it's overall a really really good team that works together very very well um i gave him an eight all right uh, i give him a nine and i think Stuart said they give him a nine as well i gave him an eight i gave him an eight so mm-hmm. 44 overall 44 overall for me okay uh, 43 40, for me. 41 for me all right 
Well, that is uh, the Arkham Niners in a nutshell. Very busted team. Uh, just looking at it on paper. And let's see how well he puts it to use in battle.